Hello, everyone, and uh, welcome to the 20th uh, Japanese Film Festival Nippon Connection, uh, the online edition. <laughs> and uh, uh, we're, uh, uh, um, yeah, we're very happy to have uh, um, uh, made, uh, uh, made this uh, uh, edition possible online. And uh, I'm uh, very excited to have uh, the director of one of my favorite films in the program, Under Your Bed, uh, Mari Asato, with us. Uh, welcome. Uh, マリアサト。第Hi, Yes, very happy to be here too. Thank you. Great. Hi. Uh, uh, okay, great. Um, so um, let's just start uh, uh, with the questions. Uh, first of all, um, it's a very interesting film. Um, and uh, I just wanted to know, how did you become involved in the project? Um, え、まず最初にこのプロジェクト作品に関わり始めたきっかけを教えていただけますかはい、えっと、まず最初にあのすごく長年一緒に仕事をしてきたプロデューサーから提案がありました。So actually um I was introduced to this um project by a producer that I have been working with for a very long time. そうですね。で、その提案っていうのはあの、なんていうんですかね。あえて規制を超えて R18というそのとんがった映画、ジャンルの映画を作ってみないかっていう提案でした。So actually this producer came up to me and said that um do you want to uh do kind of some kind of a challenging project and try and go into R18 type of film? です。こう、普段はいつもその規制を超えないように映画っていうのはまあ作ってるわけなんですけど、あえて自分たちを閉じ込めずにあの、何ですかね。まあ、解放してというか、あの、そういうショッキングな映画を日本映画界にあえてこ
なんていうんですか主人公は時には気持ち悪くてで時にはすごく純粋に見えたりそういうこうなんか2つのすごく不安定さを狙って脚本を書いていきましたまるで釣りみたいに。And、uh, basically,、uh, this story is told through a monologue by this main character. And when you look at him, sometimes you think、uh, he's sort of disgusting or creepy. But on the other hand, you might find that he's very, very pure. And so I think this kind of multifaceted character was very interesting for me. こう彼お客さんを彼にシンパシーを持たせるようにしてみたりと思ったら次の瞬間すごくこうお客さんを突き落とすじゃないですけどショックを与えるような演出をしてみたりなんかそういう演出の狙いをしましたでそれをこうスタッフもキャストも理解してくれて、あのー、すごく難しかったけどあの繊細な映画作りができたと思います。So, when I filmed this,、um, I wanted、uh, to create sort of some scenes where the viewers can be sympathetic of this main character. And in some cases, I wanted everyone to be shocked at what he does or what he says. And so, when I directed that, I gave、uh, such instructions and tried to、uh, make different k i n d of scenes. And all of my staffs and cast members all understood my direction. And so, although this was a tough film, it was a very challenging and great project. Uh, yes, completely agree. There were like、uh, a lot of scenes in the movie <laughs> where you were <laughs> sometimes、yeah. you think he's a bad guy,、uh, but、yes. then you're still scared for him because. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> yes, I did it. <laughs> yeah. yeah.、Um, excellent.、Mm. Um, Maybe just, uh, 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 I mean,、uh, we talked about uh, you, uh, there's a lot of、um, uh, uh, ambiguity uh, uh, to the、mm. character. There's a lot of uh, uh, also a lot of、uh, you know, suspense scenes uh,、mm. uh, uh, in, um, uh, from different、uh, points of view as well.、Mm. Um, did you have any other、uh, movies、mm. or directors in mind where you, took,、uh, where you were inspired by you know, while making the movie? はい、あよ役いらないです。あ、あえっと、ちょっと見てる方のためにも。あ,あ、そうか、ごめんなさい。そうですね、ごめんなさい。はい。それで、あの、まあ、あの、今回の映画なんですけれども、まあ、ちょっとサスペンスっぽいところもあるかと思いますし、それから、えまあ、見てる方からは、あの、何が起きてるんだろうってわからない、ちょっとドキドキするっていうようなところもあると思うんですけれども、うん、えー、まあ、どういったあの作品から、今回、インスピレーションを受けられたというのはありますでしょうか。そうですね。あの、一番最初に思ったのは、増村康造という監督、えー、日本の監督なんですが、1950年代ぐらいの監督です。えー、と増村康造監督はあの、モノローグを使って、主人公の一人称の目線で物語を作っていくという作品がすごく多くて、とても強くそれをイメージしました。So, actually, I was、um, strongly influenced by、uh, director Yasuzo Masumura, who was a director in around the 1950s. And in his works, many of his works are、uh, told in、uh, the perspective of the main character in the way of the monologue. And so that's why、um, I was inspired by his works. Hi. The monogatari techni nitail sakhin ga h i t o t s a t e 制作の妻という作品ですでそれは確か第二次世界大戦中ぐらいの昔の日本の話で、えー、田舎の村の話ですでその田舎の村で意味嫌われてる女が主人公若尾綾子,子を演じるすごく嫌われ者の女が主人公でその女があの村で一番人気のすごくリーダー的な存在の青年をに恋をしてで、まあ、暴走していくっていう話です。それがちょっと似てるかもしれないです。はい、And what are the works、uh, done by this director? 
uh, I thought was pretty similar to this project. And so um, I was particularly influenced by that. And uh, the work is named Seisaku's Wife. And um, this is a, a story that took place in uh, the World War II era. And it happens in this rural village. And this main character, uh, she's the uh, wife, and uh, she was actually hated by everyone in the village. Uh, however, she actually fell in love with this um, beautiful guy who is a very popular guy. And um, the a person who uh, had this role was um, Ayako Wakao. Uh, she's the actress. And uh, I think she performed uh, this very well. And um, that's why I thought I had this image when I was filming this film. そういう and uh, one of the important scenes in this film is the sexual abuse scenes. And when I took that, um, I referred to the blue velvet. And um, in that film, the woman is handled almost like an object. And in one shot, you can see how she's been treated on a daily basis. And so um, that's something that inspired me. あの、世の中的に見たら、社会的に見たら、この男の最後っていうのは、まるで悲劇に見えるんだけれども、でもこの主人公にとっては、あの、コレージョンハッピーエンドはなかっただろうっていう、そういうエンディングに見えて、とてもあの
Uh, mm -hmm. And especially uh, we talked about the ambiguity uh, of the character and usually you would maybe portray him as, I don't know, some ugly creep. And then we have a, a, a Kengo Kora, who is a very beautiful guy, uh, very sympathetic. So, <laughs> <laughs> so it adds to, uh, uh, so it makes it easier also maybe to, um, uh, uh, for us to sympathize with him. Um, how did you go about the casting? うん。で、ではあの、ま、今回のこの作品ですね。やはりあの、キャストの方も非常に重要な役割を占めているかと思うんですけれども、あの、先ほどおっしゃったようにこの主人公は、で、ちょっとあの、ま、気持ち悪い
あれそれとあとそのヒロインの西川かな子さんはオーディションで選びましたあの役がとても本当に精神的に追い詰められる役なのでもうタフさが必要だと思ってあの実際にそのその人自身のキャラクターやお芝居なんかを見ながらオーディションで選ぶっていうふうにしましたで西川さんっていうのはあのなんて言うんですかすごくこう少女のようなあ,のあどけなさというか純真さみたいなのをとても彼女自身が持っていてあのそれがすごく良かったというか千尋という役はとても過酷な目に遭うけれどもどこかずっとその純真さみたいなのを失っていないようなキャラクターにしたかったので本当にあの彼女は適役だったと思いますあの例えばあざがあってもコーヒーを飲んだ時に美味しいってこう心から素直に湧いたようにセリフを言えるとかなんかそういったところが彼女の魅力でとてもこの映画に合っていたなと思っています And as for、um, Kanako Nishikawa,、uh, we have chosen her through the audition process. And you know, this role is a very difficult role to play with lots of、um, pressures are given to you, and there are lots of violent scenes as well. However,、um, we thought that she had this real pureness, almost like a child or a little a girl. And I think she was a perfect match for this role of Chihiro. And,、um, In some scenes, when she's、uh, drinking coffee, even though she has lots of bruises all over her body, still she can say, Oh, this coffee is so tasty, in a, a very、uh, pure and natural way. And I thought that was great.、Mm. Yes, uh, uh, like the, cra-、uh, the, uh, the cast was uh, uh, amazing. Um, uh, just um, um, maybe like one question.、Um, Ms. Nishikawa has a lot of difficult scenes.、Um, mm-hmm. how, how was it on the set?、Um, you know, how, how did you make sure that she feels safe? Or, uh, 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 because I imagine it's, it's a lot to shoot these scenes and it's quite difficult.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. えそうですねあのキャストは皆さん素晴らしかったと思うんですけれども、えーまあ、特にあの西川さんの演じていらっしゃる、まあ、キャラに関しましては非常に難しい役どころかと思います、まあ、このシーンを演じるにあたって、まあ、その彼女がまあ安心してそこに臨めるように、えー、どのように持っていったんでしょうかそうですねあのまず一番にあの大事にしたのは何でしょう彼女が集中できる環境づくりを大事にしたくてで地方の撮影にしましまたあの地方で一つのホテルで全員でその合宿といいますかあの常にこうみんなで彼女の横にいてあげるじゃないですけどあのすごくこの役重い役にちゃんと集中できるようにあのケアしましたもちろんその撮影の時あの少人数に減らしたりだとか、まあ、当たり前にやることですけどそういうケアもしましたがあのこの映画の現場の中で一番笑顔だったのは彼女でしたで本当に大変なシーンも何でしょう真剣に向き合ってやってくれたし自分からたくさんアイデアを出してやってくれたしで周りも一番に彼女に思いやりを持って接してあのそうですね乗り切った感じですねはい。Yes,、uh, we knew that、uh, this would require a lot of concentration. And so actually, we decided to shoot this scene in the suburbs. And we were lodged in a hotel and、um, we all stayed together, sort of supported her throughout the scene. And we didn't want to take our minds off of this because we need to really, really concentrate on this. And I took sort of natural measures like.、Um, Reducing the number of crews when we are filming these scenes, but that's something that we always do with this kind of scene. And I believe、um, she was the one who was always smiling, and,、um, but at the same time, she was very, very serious and dedicated with this role. And she had lots of ideas, 
And um, I think the whole crew supported her throughout this season. Great. Mm -hmm. um, just one comment, uh, because you said that um, everything was, a lot of scenes were done in one shot, uh, in one take. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I, I was a bit surprised because everything looks so perfect and prepared and so elegant. So, uh, uh, um, good job. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. I'm happy to hear that. え、ええ、ええ、ええ、ええ、ええ、ええ、ええ、ええ、ええ、ええ、ええ、ええ、ええ、ええ、ええ、ええ、ええ、ええ、ええ、ええ、ええ、ええ、ええ、ええ、ええ
同化して感情移入して見ていたのかなと思いますそれとあともう一つ驚いた感想としてはあのこれは日本なんですけど見終わってこう結構泣いて出てくる女性の方があのいらっしゃったんですけどもあの中にはこう泣いて私のところに来てこうなんていうんですかね握手を求めてくるというかそういった方も結構いらっしゃってその中にはその DV の被害者の方もいらっしゃったりし,しました。であの彼女たちが言った言葉にちょっと驚いたんですけどあのこういう問題にしましを中途半端にではなく真摯に向き合って描いてくれてありがとうございます本当に癒されましたあのたくさんの人に見てほしいということをすごく言われてそれが一番驚いた感想だったしあのまさかそういうことを言われるとは思ってなかったのでそれはすごく驚いたしあとみんなであのとても大変な撮影だったけれどもあのうん何でしょう、うんまあ、腰を引けずに前なんで一生懸命撮ったっていうことが良かったなと思いました。Well, actually, the overall reactions in Japan and overseas were almost the same. And I felt that many viewers、um, thought this was a very breathtaking、um, type of movie. And I believe many people、uh, saw this film through the eyes of this main lead role. And so they were very sympathetic of him, I guess. But、uh, one surprising reaction was that I saw many women. Uh, who would come out of the theaters crying, and some of them would come up to me and wanted to、um, shake hands with me. And、um, actually, some of them were the victims of the domestic violence. And I was very surprised that they were very happy to see my film and feel that it seemed so real and genuine. And also, they were comforted by the film. Because I was able to shoot it in a very real way. And so this was something that I did not expect. And although it was very difficult for me to、um, take this movie, however, I'm very grateful that I have been able to complete it successfully. That's,、uh, in a way,、mm-hmm. it's also surprising because, like,、uh, sometimes in the movie, it,、uh, it, it's very realistic, and sometimes、mm-hmm. you just Also, can't watch、yes. because it's very、uh, tough. Yeah,、mm. but it's、uh, interesting.、Mm. It, um, uh, then uh, finally, um, uh, I mean, everyone is tired of it, but I just wanted to ask、uh, <laughs> <laughs> we have this uh, 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 COVID epidemic,、um, and uh,、mm. everyone is uh, very, uh, uh, you know, worried about how it will、uh, impact and affect.、Uh, Uh, the uh, film industry.、Uh, what do you think what the effects in Japan will be, and how is the situation at the moment right now?、うんえー、では、あの今度はですね、あの皆さんもこれはよく聞かれて、もう飽き飽きされているかもしれませんけれども、あの今の、えー、この COVID の状況ですね、あのまあ、映画界に与えている影響、あるいは、まあ、この今の状況というのをどうご覧になっていますかそうですね、あの本当こうみんなもちろんこう、ね、撮影が止まったりですとか企画が流れてしまったりですとかいろんなことがあるんですけどそうですねあのこう映画だけじゃなくていろんなこの娯楽っていうのがこれから変わっていくんだろうなっていうのはすごく個人的に感じてます。あの媒体まず劇場ととかか配信だとかそういった媒体の変化っていうのももちろんあるだろうしあとは物語自体の語ること自体の変化っていうのもこれから起こってくるんじゃないかなっていうのはすごく感じてますでもあの決してそれはネガティブなことではないと私は思っていてあの逆にこれからなんか新しい映画の形であったりいろんな娯楽の形っていうのがどんどんどんどん作られていくんだよなと思っていて
、なんかそれがどう変わっていくのかっていうのが個人的にはすごく楽しみだったりします。あのまあ、人間がいる限りこういう娯楽というか物語っていうのは絶対になくなることがないと思うしこう世界が変わったらじゃあ映画はどう変わるのっていうのがすごく個人的にはワクワクしています。Well, actually, it was very unfortunate that some of the filming had to stop or the project got cancelled. And so that's unfortunate. However, I think、um, after this COVID, the form of entertainment will change, not just the films. And also,、um, it will change in terms of two aspects, I believe. One is the platform, for example, like the theaters or the platform where these are broadcasted. And then the other aspect is the stories, how、uh, stories are told in the future would also change, I believe. However, I see that, that it will not necessarily be negative, it's just that it's going to change. And so I'm kind of excited about how the movies will change in the future and how what kind of new type of entertainment will prosper in the future. And so I believe as long as we human beings live on this planet, we will continue to have various kinds of entertainment and movies or storytelling. And so it's just that the form of storytelling will change in the future. And I'm quite excited about it. Completely agree, actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yes, yes. Because it's,、uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's,、uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a bit, you know, optimism and positivity because、mm -hmm. a lot of it、mm -hmm. is often uh, uh, negative. And I、mm -hmm. think,、uh, um, um, you know, there's reasons to be excited, definitely. Yes, of course, I think it's a very interesting way to think about it. And I think it's a very interesting way to think about it. Mm. Um, so, um, maybe we've come to the end,、um, but I just want to leave the floor to you. Do you have anything else that you would like to say or any message to our viewers? Or... えでは最後に、えーまあ、これから作品をご覧になる方々に向けて何かメッセージなどありましたらお願いします。はい、そうですね。あのこうした状況の中でもこう今年私もちゃんと日本コネクションをこうして開催しているまず映画祭のスタッフの方々とあとこの日本コネクションを見てくださっているお客様たちをあのとてもあの素晴らしいと思いますあの敬意を称します。はいまず Well, first of all, I must say that I very much appreciate the fact that、uh, the organizers and all the staff、um, involved in this Nippon Connection h a s decided to go on with this、um, film festival, although、um, the world is in this、uh, COVID situation. And also, I very much appreciate that many people are coming to watch this film festival online. Hi, Nippon Ega. とてもあの勇気をいただいています。本当にありがとうございます。で、あのこうね、あの日本とドイツだけじゃなくて、本当に世界中が今試練の時かもしれないんですけど、こうどんな国の人もあのどんな仕事の人もみんなこう状況は一緒だと思うので、こうなんでしょう。お互いにこういう時こそ思い合って助け合ってと言いますか、あの新しい時代。And、um, the fact that many people are、uh, watching our Japanese film、uh, makes me feel that I am supported by people from not just Germany but from all around the world. And、um, during this COVID situation, not just Japan and Germany but also the entire world was impacted by this. However, I think、um, regardless of your job or what you do, I think everyone got impacted by this. However, I think we should be compassionate about others' understanding and caring, and then we shouldn't be afraid of change, but just、uh, continue to live a better life. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> thank you,、uh, Maria Sato. Thank you for your film. Uh, 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 thank you for uh,、um, be willing, being willing、uh, to be interviewed for us and uh, uh, looking forward to uh, seeing uh, many more films 
uh, uh, from you. And congratulations. And uh, uh, to all our viewers, uh, see you at the festival. This is Pavel Vlajic uh, from the film program. Bye. では、本日はさとまり監督、え、どうもありがとうございました。え、今後もたくさんの作品を楽しみにしております。え、また今回ご覧になった、え、皆様、え、このニッポンコネクションにご参加いただきましてありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。バイ